how uh, big of a risk are, is this uh, the ideology of far-right extremism? Well, in Europe in recent years and months, far-right extremism and populism is on the rise. It is the mainly because of economic worries, because of increased immigration. So this ideology is getting more and more supporters. And what are you hearing about not only just the ideology that is getting, getting more supporters, but the potential acts of terror that we've been seeing that we saw in Norway? Um, it is very difficult to say. Uh, something what happened in Norway took uh, years of preparation so there is a little chance that something similar will happen in the immediate future there is there is always a likelihood of course but it is not it is not probable however um, that act was to inspire and uh, there might be other people following similar ideology who will who will want to maybe carry out smaller attacks what does it say I mean I guess the the idea of where where does this the thinking come from this whole idea of anti-immigration, anti-multiculturalism, uh, and and what they've been describing as all anti-Muslim uh, thinking within Europe. Well, um, it is historical. It is um, due to current events, um, increased immigration at the moment. As I said, um, some. It, it can be even said that some political parties in Europe, mm. uh, populism is rising there. And for instance, in Finland, in Sweden, these parties got into government, into parliament. Uh, they have a great backing. Mm. And uh, some critics say that even these parties can be fueling this ideology. The, uh, yeah, we're just looking at some of the statistics that we have here on, on CNN.com as well. You know, the Danish party, uh, People's Party, has 25 seats in Parliament. Uh, Sweden's Democrat Party has uh, won about 5.7% of the vote in uh, the 2010 elections. And this is just a small number of the other countries as well that do have uh, a strong showing and I, I guess you should say have representation within the government in itself. Uh, there is obviously some sense of backing within the general public that that perhaps the ideology has some backing within the general public and I guess I'm just wondering you know is there is there a fear that this could grow um, the backing will always be there especially during these times when there are still economic worries when there is increased immigration for instance is it people that are afraid that 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 uh, immigrants will take jobs away from those who are potential from from those countries there will be people uh, inevitably people who will be thinking like this but uh, and there will be politicians who will be trying to fuel these ideas mm. so there will be always this kind of the, this fears which will which will um, promote this kind of uh, worries